All right. So how would you, what, do you, what is your take on formal education these days? College, specifically, going to school and coming back home with $70,000 to $100,000 in school loans. What is your take on that? Are you aggressively telling people, like, yo, forget that? Or what is your take on that? Well, I mean, it's broken. The system is broken right now, especially in America. I mean, if you, if you travel, we, don't, we travel a lot. We have a passion for traveling. So if you go anywhere in the world, you see that the education system is, is a lot better off as far as, like, the, the prices, right? Now, in America, they charge ridiculous prices to go, go to school. But if you go to any of these countries, you know, they'll lower the price. But still, the system is still broken, right? Um, the people are teaching, you know, outdated ways, you know. Um, I was watching this video online the other day where it was talking about um, – you know, how, how you expect, you know, to put, you know, all these different kinds of minds together in one room and teach them the, the same thing. You know, you can't teach a, a fish to climb a tree the same way you can teach a, a monkey to, to climb a tree. So yeah. I feel like with the education that we have today and, and technology, that the education system can be a lot better off to where it's tailored, you know, to, to, you know, to certain people, right? It's tailored, you know, for, for that in, in individual. So that's why I like, you know, online marketing so much because you actually can, can dive in there and pick the subjects that you're good at. You know, if you want to do Shopify, you know, do e-commerce, yeah. you can. If you want to just, you know, do coaching, you can. If you want to do digital, you know, services, you can. Yeah. So, you know, it just really fitting people in the category to where they feel, you know, the most passionate about. And that's one thing that we preach on, man, is live your passion. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, like I said, if you're working a job, if you're working a business doesn't matter, you know, whatever you're doing, you got to be passionate about it. So I wish schools will start harping on that more and start teaching people that more instead of saying, hey, you need to go to school to get a job, you know, because it's not true. You know, I, I, didn't, I didn't finish college, right? That, that's, become, that's becoming more and more obsolete, you know, and it's kind of funny that uh, most entrepreneurs, they, yeah, at least most successful ones did not finish college. And it goes mm-hmm. back to what we said earlier about, you know, there's always that DNA that I finished college because I'm Nigerian and by culture and from where we're from, you just got to do it. Not only that, you got to go masters, <laughs> you know. So, but I had that obligation on the back of my head for a long time. As a matter of fact, probably half of my first degree, I didn't pay attention. Uh, I paid attention on the master's degree because I started to look at it as, uh, as an entrepreneur. I was like, let me see what I can use this for. And that was why I decided to go from computer engineering. I decided to do uh, the closest to business master's degree at my school at the time, engineering management. And that was really what really started to expose me to, uh, to the business world. But the thing is, um, I'm looking at the whole thing, uh, and uh, the average person in my class was not looking at it that way. They were looking to get a job. Right. To get a job with that. Um, if I was looking to get a job, I went straight from first degree to master's degree because um, I never did internship or any of that craziness, which, by the way, made it difficult for anybody to want to hire me because I have no experience. So that tells you, that gives you an idea of, what, of what's going on in, the, in, the, in that world. I think, I, I, think, I think I'm really getting closer and closer to aggressively just telling people, like, don't, don't do it, don't do it. Because I, most of the master's degree I told you was online education. Like, uh, a lot of the classes right. were done uh. online. So we would go in something maybe once a week or something to meet, but, but it was, you know, it was starting to get popular back in 05. It was starting to get popular, but now you see a lot of online classes and stuff like that. You know, even universities are doing that, but forget online formal education. You could literally get on YouTube and educate yourself in anything you want to get better than the people that are actually doing it in a class setting, you know? So that's what we're getting, man. So I just, I wanted to, I wanted to touch on that. So let's go, let's go into some real deal stuff right now. Available on iTunes and YouTube.com. Watch full interview with the link inside of the post. And please subscribe today. Thanks.